What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode two of the other channel, a Games and Graps podcast brought to you by Powered 4 TV. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here with Steve. Good evening. And we're on a raw recap adventure. We've started from 1996 to uh, run alongside Nitrous Radio, which will return next week. Yep. And this week we're going over episode two of 1996. So, and it actually wasn't that bad. Not terrible. Not terrible. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not a terrible. Big improvement on the week before. Yeah. The, the Raw Bowl was um, forgettable. But also memorable. Yes. Um, and I, I feel like that they were already embarrassed about the Raw Bowl on <laughs> on this week's Raw. Like somebody made um, an American football joke on commentary. They're like, that was last week. That was last week. Uh, we don't we don't talk yeah. about the Raw Bowl. <laughs> let's not talk about that crap again. Yeah. Let's... <laughs> Awful. Yeah. But this week. You know, it was strictly down to business. We're on the road to the 1996 Raw Rumble. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it, it really wasn't a bad show. I mean, we're going to hear from Billionaire Ted. Is he going to have another Raw ripoff? Mm, who knows? We're going to hear from Scheme Gene. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to see oh. how long they keep this bollocks up. I know. Yeah, it, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see how long. But I, I think... I think a while. I think it goes on for a while. Well, I, I think it does too. Well, we're already, we've already been told, haven't we, in our Discord, go join our Discord if you want, yeah. um, that, and I'm, I've, I think I read this right, that the Hookster and the Nacho Man have a match at the 96 WrestleMania. Yeah, uh, so I'm WrestleMania 12. I think it's like 12, on yeah. the pre-show. All oh, right, Okay. So not okay. on the main card. I think it's on the pre-show. So it goes on until at least WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Which is a fair while away. Yeah, I mean next it's week, three weeks away. It's a, it's a little mm. while away. So next week's Raw episode will be the go home show for the '96 Raw Rumble. Mm -hmm. Um, and we'll, we'll cover the '96 Raw Rumble. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll definitely do it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna do the WCW pay per view, so we may as well do the WWF pay per views as well. Yeah, because why not? We you know we clearly enjoy pulling ourselves through this bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it, it's uh, it's the highlight of my week. Yeah, um, I, to be honest, I just laugh. I mean, I to be honest, I, I already can't wait to watch next week's episode just for um, Undertaker versus Isaac Yankum. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> as soon as I saw that advertised, I was like, "Oh my god, this is absolutely fucking awesome!" I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> I, I was so tempted to just watch it then and carry on my notes. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't. I saved myself. I saved myself. I'm going to watch it next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Also on uh, this episode of Raw, the Million Dollar Champion is going to be revealed. Yeah, yeah, I recognise him. Yeah, I, I don't know where from. I don't know if he has no. much of a future after this run, but we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So first up, we've got uh, Hakushi versus Double J. We have, yeah. Jeff Jarrett. Um, his locks are flowing. Oof. Wonderful head of hair. Lovely mane. That he's got going on there. It's a serious main. It's beautiful. Yeah, forget the beautiful. Jeff Jarrett that you know from, you know, the late 90s WWF and, yeah. slap you know, nuts. the late, yeah, Slap Nuts Jeff Jarrett. Forget Slap Nuts Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> this is, this is Slap Your Nuts Against Your Mrs. Jeff Jarrett. That's what this is. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. this Jeff Jarrett. Beautiful man. He's a stunner in this. You know, there's no denying it. Great ring gear as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, a little bit. Um, the the music, his music is wow, pretty bad. Yeah, it, it's it's something. I mean, that that is one thing that I have noticed so far is that the music, the entrance themes are pretty terrible throughout. 
And yeah, his is I'd... no exception to that. No, no, his is definitely one of the worst, I would say. Yes, yeah. I mean, he got a good one in the late 90s. That was decent. Mm-hmm. And then his one in WCW was good as well. But this one, it's, um, yeah, it's rubbish. It's, it's terrible. It's pretty terrible. So we start off Raw with Hakushi versus Jeff Jarrett. Um, Hakushi doesn't get an entrance. He's already there. He's already in the ring. He's already there. And as, as far as opening matches go, this was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. Hakushi does some nice stuff. He, you know, he does um, mm-hmm. just like the, um, you know, like the old the back spring like that. The what am I saying? Cartwheel into a backflip and elbow in the yeah. corner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good move, that. Good stuff. Uh, he just like does that. a does a very nice drop kick, very picturesque. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so much he gets so much offense in at the beginning of this match that Jeff Jarrett runs off. He does. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go to the back. Looks like he's had enough. Yeah. But he comes back. Mm-hmm. He comes back. One thing that annoyed me during the entirety of this match was Vince McMahon saying, I'm pretty certain that Ahmed Johnson is watching somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the whole and then, match. And then, and, then, and, then, and then he did the reverse in the next match, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. In the Ahmed Johnson match. Yeah. The comes yeah. Up later I bet on. Jeff Jarrett's watching somewhere. Yeah. Oh, well, well, yeah. He probably is. He's in the same building. He probably is, yeah. Yeah, he's he's probably having a watch from somewhere, from the bleachers. Yeah. (laughs) Look, Ahmed Johnson's throwing on some baby oil, and he's he's watching the Jeff Jarrett match on what I can only assume is a massive TV in the back. What I... Yeah, oh, yeah, with the big big back on it. Oh, 100%, yeah. Like, they've got, like, one of them... They've got, like, a coax aerial plugged into the back of it so they can watch... uh, Got to the watch draw. They've got the, the actual aerial on the top as well, trying to yeah. move it. Yeah, trying to just... Uh, Ahmed Johnson's like, look, I'm trying to watch the Jeff Jarrett match against Akushi because I need to do some scouting because I'm going to wrestle him at the Royal Rumble. And yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what's going no, on. No, no remote. it has got to change the channels on the... Uh, on yeah, the yeah, channel. he's got them like the big stick-out silver buttons that you press in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, those are the days. Kids these days don't know the born, do they? Uh, he could have he could have video plus it to watch it later, but he didn't. He could he, have, yeah. Did well, he didn't have the code. So oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, if Vince didn't put it in the uh, in the the pre raw book. Yeah, he didn't put it in the TV times <laughs> <laughs> or radio times either way. Yeah, <laughs> the, te- the t- telly book, the telly book. Which I'm going to go off topic here. My mum still buys, even though they have a Virgin box. You still buy a telly book? My mum still buys one. I'm like, why do you buy this? It is a waste of money. You have a TV guide yeah. built into your Virgin box. Well, yeah. it's just habit. It's just habit. Habit? Smoking's a habit. <laughs> 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 Not buying the bloody TV guide. Yeah, nuns wear a habit. You know, this is... <laughs> this, this is... That, just... that... That's just... It always makes me laugh when they have to buy. I've got to buy the one at Christmas. Why? Why do you have to buy the one at Christmas? Well, I need to know. I need to know what's on. I tell you what's on. Home Alone and Die Hard. There you go. That's yeah. what you need to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the rerun of last year's Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. That's what's on. Yeah. Only fools and horses. More than wise. <laughs> we move on. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 Christmas episode of Minder is probably on. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Well, it is retro raw. We're talking retro things, so yeah, yeah. Ahmed Johnson, he's got he's got Boone on Video Plus, and he's watching Jeff Jarrett live. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to miss Boone. Can't miss Boone. Can't miss Boone. Fire, firefighter turned detective. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I love about these old roars is um, like the, the, the cuts to the fans. Yeah. <laughs> they are like, w- when they're booing, they're booing the oh, shit out of them. God. Thumbs down, yeah. everything. Like they're really high up in the air, the thumbs as well. They're like, fucking boo. Yeah, yeah it's re- they're really going for it. And it's people of all ages as well. Yeah, all yeah. All ages. Amazing. You've got some. You, you, you've got like you've got young kids there, absolutely loving life, and then yeah. you've got you know you've, you've you, the dads are there, the dads yeah. are there, absolutely loving it. 
The grandparents the, the, are there. The, the dad's mum is there as well because the grandma still love wrestling at this point. Yeah, yeah. Where's yeah? They love it. They absolutely love it. And the marks I there it. in WCW. You'll notice. Oh this. yeah, the marks yeah. are there. Yeah, it's, it's it's the AEW, isn't it? It's, it's, it's it is. Yeah, of, it is. It's, it's, it's that the, sort of vibe. It's the AEW from back then. That's where the marks are. That's what that's what WCW's slogan should have been. Where the WCW, where the marks are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, there was one part in the match where uh, Jeff Jarrett hit a really terrible looking swinging net breaker. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that and it was uh it was dicey. I mean you 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 tend to see that I this is something I've I've obviously noticed over the last two episodes. I mean uh, mm. the some of the moves are a bit like ooh, you're like you when yeah. you, you look at it, you go. But that's because we you know we're used to modern safe wrestling yeah we are i mean you know the the modern move set is still to be established at this point mm. you know a lot of them vince doesn't even know the name of because it's just what a maneuver what a maneuver what a maneuver like even a kick like there was a spinning kick at one point in one of the matches probably by hakushi actually and mm. vince was like oh what a maneuver from hakushi it's like just say he kicked him just say, yeah i found with the uh the commentary this week there was a lot of it. Do you know what I mean? It, it was it, you mm. almost couldn't concentrate on the match for the amount of talking from yeah. Vince and from the King. They're, they're trying to cram a lot in. That they're trying to like cram, you know, what's coming up in the show, as well yeah. as what's going on during the match. Yeah, and the, then they've got the King telling terrible jokes all the time. Oh. And the, 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 you're right; the, it's very wordy. Very, very wordy. It's um, yeah. It just, just a lot, a lot of talking. Yeah, a lot of mm. terrible puns. And oh, it's awful. Vince, Vince doesn't know the word. Doesn't know. Doesn't know a lot of the moves. He doesn't know moves. He doesn't know moves. Um, here's a uh, a picture for those watching the YouTube version of this of Hakushi getting back back dropped over the top rope. Yeah, what a maneuver. What a <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a backdrop <laughs> then. It was just a maneuver. A uh, maneuver. Jeff Jarrett with a maneuver over the top rope goes for <laughs> <laughs> Um, The King at one point said that um, Hakushi was going to open a, a big and tall man shop in Tokyo. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. 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 Not, very, uh, not very PC, the King, must be said. Uh, well, not only is it not very PC, it's also just not funny. It's it's definitely not funny. Yeah, it's definitely not funny. No, no. Was oh, yeah, maybe it was in '96. On... Maybe yeah, maybe we'd have been falling over laughing. You know. Yeah, 96. I think I think this is sort of something you you really had to understand, like a reference. But there was like some sort of racial slur before he said it, like mocking oh, where he's from yeah. and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. Before he went into the, uh, he's going to open a big and tall man shop in Tokyo. Yeah, wasn't it something to do with, oh, he's so disrespectful of the people of Japan, he's going to go yeah, that's it, a, yeah. a big and tall <laughs> shot. Should, uh... Yeah, that was it, yeah. I, I don't know whether it was this match or a match later on where they mentioned where you, you, the 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 Raw Bowl. Yeah. Uh, and, Vince, and Vince said, oh, that was last week. You know, forget that ever happened. A yeah. race history like WWFE. Do um, and um, uh, and the king said, I watched so much football last week, I got handed a turkey and I spiked it. <laughs> I just... and, and, and you can you can always you can always hear the the disgust in Vince's voice, and he's like, <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. What a maneuver! And then he's like, Back so into just it. you wait till we get backstage. Yeah, just just you wait. Um, just who, you wait. I'm going to get Ahmed Johnson's tape of brush strokes. And I'm going to clatter it around <laughs> your head. <laughs> um, I was enjoying this match so much. Uh, despite all the nonsense that's going on in the commentary, I was actually enjoying the sort of back and forth between Jeff Jarrett and uh, Hakushi. And I even wrote down, this is already better than the Raw Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. A, it was a decent opening match. Yeah, 
Decent opening match. I also wrote Vince is obsessed with Ahmed Johnson watching the match, which we already covered. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jeff Jarrett picked up the win because obviously he did. Picked it up with a figure he... four. Uh, ref really, the ref really in there as well, like to, to make mm. sure Hakushi. It's, it's like, you've got to tap here, Hakushi, okay? You've got to tap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that, is, tap. That referee, is that referee Tim White that I can see there? I'm not sure. I can't tell. I'm not sure. There's a bit of a kick clash going on there with uh, with Jeff that. Jarrett's. Uh, there is attire. actually, yeah, the, mm. you're right because it looks like the yeah, it looks like he's like an extension of the ref. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of a kick clash. Yeah, poor, poor choice from Jeff Jarrett there. It must be said because obviously the ref's got to wear that because that's the ref's gear. It's standard, standard ref. Yeah, they they, they obviously saw each other backstage before the match. He was like, oh, 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 Jeff, we talked about this. We wear the stripes, just wear a different color. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, it's as simple as that, Jeff. Oh, with, speaking of colors, you wait till you start watching Nitro for the Nitro pod and you, you look uh -huh. at Rick, what Ric Flair's wearing. Oh, my God. <laughs> You'll be fuming just like I am. The guy cannot <laughs> color coordinate. Oh, so, oh, I am livid every week that I watch Nitro. Yeah. I look forward to that. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's a great time. <laughs> Slam jam time with uh, Jim Ross. There he is. Go ahead, Jim. Jim. <laughs> I like that they call it Slam Jam. It's just literally just a backstage segment. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that uh, that blazer jacket he's got. I like the tie though. I yeah, think what he's done there, he, yeah. he's cut a bit off Jeff Jarrett's ring attire. <laughs> <laughs> it's very similar. It's very similar. But, look at the monitors in the background. That's incredible. Let's have another look again. Look yeah, I know. Look how big they are. They're just like sticking uh, out of the wall. I'm trying to see what we've got a picture there in the background. What's what? that? Oh, that's Doc Hendricks, isn't it? That picture. Yeah. Oh, and I think he said. The... I think he said something about Doc Hendricks. I think maybe he had a cold or something. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why JR's doing it. Yeah, good times. So basically, JR's just running down the Raw Rumble. Uh, he didn't give us the rules this week, which is disappointing because yeah, uh, I forgot I, how I it works. I yeah, I know. need to. I mean, they better tell us on the Go Home Show next week. Otherwise, uh, the Raw Rumble's going to be, be real confusing. Mm, I won't understand what's going on. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, he announced that Isaac Yankum, DDS, is going to be in the, in the Raw Rumble. <laughs> Hmm. Wonder, how, I mean, wonder what happens to him in the future. I, he, I mean, you know, he's got the size and strength. He, he could not got a great face. It must be said. Maybe they should put a mask on him. But I don't know what will yeah. happen to him. Um, but, you know, he, he's a young man. He's got a bright young future potentially. Yeah. Um, and if you know all else fails, he's got a career as a dentist to fall back on. So that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I, I see him being. Uh, um, Getting involved in politics, actually, as well. Maybe, yeah. I mean, a lot of former mm. dentists do go into that line of work. You know, they start Na maybe they become councillors or mayors or something like that in the in their in their mm. future. It's like like yeah. natural progression. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll we'll follow the progress of Isaac Yankum DDS, and you know, we, we we wish the best for him. Yeah, we do. We do. Um, this was my favourite entrant into the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Doug Gilbert uh, is going to be in the Raw Rumble. You know, um, Doug. I know. Well, I know that he wears a jean jacket vest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Doug Gilbert. Imagine him winning the Raw Rumble. <sighs> it's Doug Gilbert versus Brett the Hitman Hart. Yeah. <laughs> Not the same. Yeah, Doug Gilbert. Doug Gilbert. But the one thing we did get from this amazing Slam Jam segment... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vader is going to be in the Royal Rumble. And once again, they played that incredible oh. Vader video package. Awesome. So good. So good. It is so good. I wish that I could play it on this podcast, but yeah. I know full well we'd be shut down so quickly. We would. Yeah, we would. Oh, it's just it's just magnificent. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. If you've got WWE Network, just go and watch these episodes of Raw from uh, early, like the beginning of 96, just to see the Vader video package. It's brilliant. Mm. Mm. 
It's so good. <laughs> it's just so good. So good. <laughs> anyway, next up. Oh, there was some scheme gene stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. But it was uh, such fucking nonsense. I guess it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even make any notes. I just put a laughing emoji next to the name scheme gene <laughs> in my notes. <laughs> I think it was that uh, he's, he's teasing us with a surprise. Yeah. He's... But, he, oh, yeah, he doesn't tell. He, he's on about sort of calling the WWF hotline, isn't he? Yeah. Because yeah. that was the thing back yeah. then. If you wanted, like, I mean, you know, a bit of backstage news or a surprise, you, you call the WWF hotline and you think you've got the inside word when really they're just kayfabing the fuck out of you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We needed that. Yeah. For sure. You, um, didn't have, well, did you, you had Meltzer back then, didn't you? Surely you had Meltzer. Yeah, but it was all paper form, wasn't it? Because the internet yeah. what well, wasn't, you know, 96. really. I mean, the internet was there because, you know. The internet you, was there, but yeah. If you've watched Pam and Tommy, that, yeah, that, was, that was, I was thinking the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. when, you know, porn is the reason the internet's popular. Yeah. Like, there's, like, there's, that's literally the reason. Yeah, yeah. 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 So thank you, Pamela Anderson and uh, Tommy Lee, for that. I much appreciated. Mm -hmm. yeah. You give you gave us the platform to do what we do now. We wouldn't be here without you. What porn? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for porn. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that show or not. What? Pam and Tommy. I've watched three episodes. I like how like how dismissive of the internet they are. I know it is so. It is. It's crazy, isn't it? To think. Oh, is that, that the computer thing? Oh, is that uh, what the internet? Do we want to put the video on the internet. Well, how does that work? And 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 when? Uh, yeah, that'll never take off. Uh, well, yeah, that'll never take off. Where's when the Seth Rogen uh, does the uh, dials the internet up? Oh the yeah, with the the classic oh. AOL noise or whatever it was then. Yeah, yeah. Good Brilliant. times. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. Next up on Raw, match number two is Ahmed Johnson against Jeff something. Now, I couldn't catch his I, I, Do you know what? I, I've In my notes, I've put Ahmed Johnson versus question mark, horrid clothes. Yeah, his trousers are absolutely appalling. His now, trousers were they, were, they were the, like, MC Hammer, like, parachute pants. Yeah, so they, they were. They had... They had the design of your grandma's curtains. Yeah, they, they were, were really, really bad. Even Vince awful. said something on commentary. Yeah, like, it was like, interesting what? choice of uh, interesting choice of clothes. Yeah, yeah. I don't well, even know. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I couldn't get the full name. His name was Jeff, it. and I put Grappler. Your name's or Jeff. Brettler. Uh, I something like that. It was something. It sounded like that, but I they never put like a name Brettler. thing up for him or anything like that. Mm. So God knows, could be anything. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I, I wrote trousers down as well. Yeah, I put horrid clothes. Yeah, <laughs> Ahmed Johnson basically murdered this guy. Yeah, yeah. He he, uh, he, he was he was uh, pretty stiff in this match. Yeah, it was a little bit. I, I fear for Jeff Jarrett. It must be said. I don't know. I don't Ooh. think they're going to have a technical clinic, really. Oh no. I think it's going to be Ahmed Johnson throwing him around in his weird mm. red bondage gear. Yes. Yeah, I did write in brackets his music rips um, mm. next to Ahmed's name. Yeah, he does have good. He had, he had genuinely decent. Yeah, he had good. Music. He had good music. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. But yeah, he, he throws this Jeff guy at the beginning of the match, and it's absolutely ridiculous. He about lands on his face. Yeah, he launches him. Absolutely launches him. Yeah. Um, the, to be honest, the, there wasn't really an awful lot to this match. Obviously, Jeff no. Jarrett was probably watching. He was. Well, I mean, Vince was. Look at Vince that. did say. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett's watching. Yeah. Um, so Jeff that. Jarrett's really looking forward to taking this massive spine buster from Ahmed Johnson. If you look closely right. in that picture, you can see the trousers. But also, what I want you to look at, if you're watching the video version of this, is the look on Jeff's face, knowing full well that this is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> it's like you're saying fuck yeah fuck. Just before, he's uh, just before he gets slammed to the mat one thing uh, one thing I noticed there is what well, just just a quick observation was um, in the picture he's not 
yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 96, okay? Yeah. You're only fast-forwarding two or three years, and you won't be able to see those people for signs. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, there's, it's like it's like WWE now. You've got like you get a handful, or one or two. Yeah, but but you know, you remember when like when you're full on in the Attitude Era, uh, you, you, it was just signs everywhere. Signs everywhere, like different stuff as well. It was weird, like yeah, you so, much, so many, yeah, so many South Park <laughs> like signs, just yeah. Yeah, like Austin as a South Park character, or like the yeah, Boston DX. South Park, yeah, 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 DX South Park. Very because they were like the top two things in the in the mid to late nineties. Yeah, that and flash photography was clearly a massive thing then as well. Because yeah. every oh, time God. entrances happen, it's just flash flashing cameras. It's crazy. Yeah, or a finisher. That was always a. Yeah, that was always a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, to the surprise of absolutely nobody. Um, Ahmed Johnson wins this match with a Pearl River Punch. Mm, he does. Which is basically a Tiger Driver. So yeah. it's double underhooks, uh, sit out power bomb, Tiger Driver. Or Liger Bomb, whichever you want. It can be Vince both. called it a maneuver. Vince called it a maneuver. Yeah, I think he mm-hmm. actually name checked it. I think he called it the Pearl River Plunge. Yeah, I think he did. We'll yeah. give him that. We'll give him the credit. We'll, we'll give him that one. But that's the only wrestling movie knows. Just like Michael yeah. Cole uh, only knows Michinoku Driver. And, yeah. oh, he knows Yurinagi as well. He's learned that mm. somewhere. I'm not sure where. <laughs> yeah. But he's learned that one as well. And he knows Yurinagi. Horrible human being. Horrible human being. <laughs> God damn it, Vince is old. <laughs> He's so old. So old. So he's um, the fucking king. Wasn't he on Raw last night? Apparently so, yeah. Yeah, so this is 96 that we're watching, and the King's on commentary yeah, yeah. here. The, it's 2022 on... <laughs> now, and the King is still on commentary. Uh... Granted, he doesn't have like his little curly mullety ponytail thing that he's... That, that lovely bit there, yeah. 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 I like to call that the Jeff Maycock mullet. Okay, that's a good one. Not the Jeff Maycock, John Maycock. <laughs> 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 I've got my Maycocks mis- mixed up. <laughs> Well, it's, it's an easy thing to do, to get your Maycocks mixed up. <laughs> it is, especially when you've not seen him for about three years. Yeah, I mean, people listening to this are going to be like, what the fuck are they talking yeah, about? Yeah, what, what are they talking about? Yeah. What, what are these Maycocks you speak of? Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're not so going to give you the context either. So let's no, no, no. We're just going to let you stir on it. Um, yeah. After the match, Jeff Jarrett comes out. Turns out he was watching all along. Shout out to Vince for knowing this. Yeah, good knowledge. Uh, top knowledge. I mean, he must be he must be psychic to be fair, because Vince is at the commentary desk. Yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, at this point in time, is literally a table with a black cloth on it. Yeah. <laughs> with the like... fans behind, with the fans behind, like in the background, <laughs> literally <laughs> right behind as well, just dangling yeah. over the guardrail. Yeah. Like, they're literally backed right up. Yeah. I have I have better better like room at indie shows that I do. Yeah. But Vince and the King are just backed right up to the guardrail. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Jesus. The smell of BO would be absolutely real, wouldn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So Jeff Jarrett clatters Ahmed Johnson with a guitar who totally no-sells it. Uh, Jeff Jarrett yeah. pegs it and Ahmed Johnson uh, destroys the guitar which, by the way, the King says was given to him by Garth Crooks. Yeah. Brooks, where are the body? Where, where, where are the Brooks, bodies? Not Crooks. <laughs> Garth Crooks. That's the that's the, that's the terrible football pun. Yeah. Um, Garth Garth Crooks did Team of the Week and then um, gave Jeff Jarrett his guitar that he plays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, Garth Crooks. <laughs> Garth Brooks, famous country music person. Yeah. Yeah. Kills kills people. <laughs> Where are the yeah. bodies, Garth? <laughs> Party on Garth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> so they advertise next week The Undertaker taking on uh, Isaac Yankum DDS. 
Can't wait. Mm. I think this is going to be like a once in a lifetime match. I don't think we'll ever get to see these two you know, tied up ever again. I doubt it. I, I, I think, yeah, I think you're right. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime. It is. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, to that. it's rare that two, you know, men of stature, like, you know, they're both mm -hmm. about seven foot. Um, yeah, apparently. Yeah, in WWF land, that's that's what they are. And, you know, they're two very different professions. One's an undertaker and one's a dentist. And it's very rare that you you see this kind of this kind of match. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's, you know, I think if you've not seen episode three of Raw from 1996, it's one you're not going to want to miss because the Undertaker locking horns with uh, Isaac Yankum DDS is something that um, you're never going to see again, ever, no, on anything, no. ever, in any no. form. No, no, no. Even, even if, you know, even if one of them changed character, you know. Or, but that doesn't out, happen. Wearing, but he, what, are you even talk, what are you even talking about? Well, it happens now and then. Not often. Not often. I mean, I think, no. I th you know, not often. No. I don't see that happening. To be honest, like I said, I think Isaac Yankum goes back to being a dentist after his uh, after his Royal Rumble appearance. I think he, you know, if he doesn't win it, I think he goes back to being a dentist, never to be seen again. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. steady profession. <laughs> it, it is a steady. <laughs> it is a steady profession. Um, yeah. yeah, so he's been an undertaker. To be fair, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can do yeah. it for a decent yeah. amount of time. Yeah, yeah, agree. Um, right next up, we've got <laughs> Brother Love and uh, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase are about to unveil the the new Million Dollar Champion. So mm. this is the person that's going to be representing Ted DiBiase and the Million Dollar Championship going forward. Um, drum roll, please. It's a uh, a sprightly young man. Mm. Um, he goes by the name the Ringmaster. Yeah. Here he is, the, the ringmaster. Um, it's Jamaica. It is. It's ja <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dear. that's can I that's uh, can I have a child for laser quest and they just laugh in his face. <laughs> so yeah, there he is. Uh, the <laughs> the ringmaster. Um, you know, it looks like he could be a good prospect. Yeah, yeah, I, I see uh, a decent future for him. I see a decent future for him. I'm not sure about yeah. the name, but no, you know, maybe that's something they'll have to, you know, figure out later on. You know, maybe mm. they'll use his real name, whatever that is. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's difficult to say because you know we don't really know what happens to these guys beyond this. But no, here no. he is, uh, the ringmaster being crowned the new million dollar champion. He keeps saying "man" a lot in his in his uh, promo. Yeah, he does. I'm going to win the Royal Rumble, man, and I'm the uh, I'm the million dollar champion, man. And look how proud Ted DiBiase is in this picture, by the way. Oh, I mean, he, he looks fantastic, doesn't he? Look at him. Yeah, he. Does, I mean, he's, you know, he's got. You know, he's he looks. You know, very Kenny Rogers here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got a he's got a great shape to his beard, and yeah. you know, you can tell his hair's freshly washed. It's all poofy. Yeah, yeah, all fluffy. Yeah, definitely. Unlike Brother Love, I mean... Where's Brother Love? He looks like shit. He does look like shit, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> he does. Uh, and, you know, the ringmaster's got a very, like, army-type haircut here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe you should shave that off. I think it'd probably be better for him. Yeah? Bit of facial hair as well. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of facial hair. Maybe, like, a little goatee or something? Goatee. Yeah, I was thinking Yeah, I think I'd really suit him. I think yeah. he would look really, really good with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, brother loves microphone. Looks like a dildo. Um... <laughs> Take it that Birmingham City game. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your dildos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what brother loves doing these days. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, so yeah, the ringmaster. We're going to be seeing a lot of him. He's announced that he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. Oh. Yeah, you know he might do a good job. Who knows? Who yeah. knows? Um, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on that guy's career as well, because you know, just like Isaac Yankum, he may have a future, he may not, but we don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like a flashback after this to um, 
Earl Hebner, who was the official for Bret Hart versus Bulldog. And basically, he says that Bret just didn't want to quit. Literally, that was it. Yeah, it was very, it was oddly placed. It was. I think I feel like they should have done it after the in your house segment. Yeah, or before, should have been. maybe. Yeah, after or before, you know. I, I think I think after because then it's like, well, you know, you could clearly see there was all this blood. Why did you not? You know, not kind of part way through Raw when yeah they're talking about a main event. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange. Yeah. Strange placement. Yeah. So it, it also going back going to the in your house thing. Obviously, last week they showed the um, the hog ped match from the, the same in your house. I think it was like to try and maybe compete with what WCW did because WCW were giving away like uh, all the wrestling in January for free. Right. Um, and they were like, we hope you've been like Vince does say later on in the broadcast. He's like, um, uh, but we hope you've enjoyed the in your house content. The next. You know, big event is live is live exclusively on pay per view, so don't be expecting any Raw Rumble matches uh, on Raw. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they played this. They, they played that Earl Hebner clip, and then went to the next match, which is Gold Dust. Yep. Um, and he's taking on Portuguese sensation Aldo Montoya. There's Gold Dust with his uh, camel toe. Mm, bold it bold. It is bald it bald, the division sign. Yeah. Yeah. Camel tear. Camel tear. The camel tear. Mm. <laughs> now, this is somebody who did have fantastic entrance music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good entrance music. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, <clears throat> for the time, a very risky character as well. For sure, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he, to be, he really pushed it as well. Mm -hmm. He really pushed that character, like above and beyond what it should have been, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, there was that, there's that story, isn't there? Which I think he has confirmed that he was willing to get a boob job as part of the character and to just weird it up even more. And it's like, man, that is, that's living, living the character that is. Yeah. I mean, you fast forward, you fast forward a couple of years, like Raw Rumble 98. He's like, at that point, he's the artist formerly known as Gold Dust. He's wearing like a silver bodysuit and he's got a thong and a bra. It's it's crazy. But yeah, yeah, for now, it's just the standard gold suit uh, and Baldic Ball. Mm -hmm. Mm, Yeah. The camel tear. The camel tear. Aldo Montoya. um, Yeah, that, I mean, obviously went on to better things. Yes. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Um, Close personal friend of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Your best mate. Yeah. A good friend of mine. Just incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, uh, we shared a, we, we, you know, we did a podcast and we shared a FaceTime call. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. Really still, cool. fo- still follows me on Twitter now. Shout out. Just incredible. Yeah. Just don't incredible. Stiff, don't stiff promoters, please. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this was a, again, this is just another match to set up, this is what a lot of Raw is. There's uh, Gold yeah. Dust uh, giving yeah. the, the camel toe clothesline is what I've just invented its name. Um, <laughs> to Aldo Montoya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the, Portu- the Portuguese. He's got Portuguese flags on his uh, on his ring attire, hasn't he? Yeah. 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 Um, side note, Just Incredible was actually giving away um, like signed Aldo Montoya masks. Recently, if you bought his book or something like that, really, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's quite a rare piece of memorabilia, I guess. I think he's had the mass produced, I don't think it's anything, I don't think they're actually right. like original ones. Yeah. I don't think so, no, mm. fair enough. It's different, though. Yeah. I even think he's wrestled as Aldo Montoya again recently, yeah. I, I think I've read that, yeah, yeah. I, think... I could be wrong, but I think he has. Mm. Cool, whatever works, I guess. But yeah, yeah so uh, Vince pointed out that Razor Ramon must be watching this match. It must be. It must he's got to be watching it because you know he's got a big match against Gold Dust at the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Razor's going to defend the Intercontinental Championship against Gold Dust. Big movie fan as well, apparently, according to the commentary. Oh, well, there you go. Mm. Every day's a school day. He he likes films and he likes actors. 
great. That's usually what films. You know, that's <clears throat> the main bit. Of the I, mean, film. I mean, they usually they, they usually go hand in hand. They do go hand in hand. I mean, there's a bit mm. of story in there as well, but you need actors and. Um, yeah, you, yeah, you, those are good actors. You you need you know those things to to really make a movie. But it's good that they mm-hmm. pointed it out because again, you know, just like the rules of the Royal Rumble, we wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Yeah. So Goldust wins with the curtain call, which is a good move. Mm-hmm. Always like the curtain. I always like Goldust. I like Justin Rhodes. Yeah, yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still good. in impeccable shape now as well. He's probably in like a few of them. He's in probably the best shape of his life. Probably, yeah. I mean. You know, there was a point where he, he really let himself go. I think he went to TNA. What oh, the hell was yeah. he called? Black Rain or something like that. Mm. And yeah. um, it wasn't good. I think no. he was going through some struggles in his life at that point anyway. But yeah. um, he looks great now. Yep. He's looked really good since debuting in uh, AEW. Yeah. Yeah, good times. Um, I wrote here, the King's jokes are shit. I have no context behind that. But it doesn't make I, it any less true. It may well have been that Pro Bowl one that I uh, mentioned earlier. Or oh, there was probably the others. Because, um, yeah, they, they generally they are sh- they are pretty shit, his jokes. Yes, I would say that's uh, absolutely a fair assessment. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, Gold just wins. He's going to be taking on Razor Ramon at the Royal Rumble for the Intercontinental Championship. And it's Slam Jam time again. Slam Jam. Slam Jam. Me, Jim Ross. The, the Raw Rumble's only two weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this bit of Slam Jam is all about Shawn Michaels and his big announcements. There it is. I'm not sure the WWF logo is big enough on that podium that no. Shawn Michaels is standing at. No, they, I think they, they're really trying to hammer the point home here mm. that it's yeah. for the World Wrestling Federation. You know, yeah. the, the big Raw Rumble thing behind him doesn't <laughs> give it away. And there's a WWF logo above that that you can just see the bottom. There is actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, and also when the when the camera pans around, there's a big WWF logo on the wall also. <laughs> yeah. So they're really trying to hammer home the point that this is indeed a uh, a World Wrestling Federation um, you know, event. World Wrestling Federation. Well, <laughs> well wrestling <laughs> beyond the map. <laughs> well, Wrestling Federation, one moment, please. <laughs> where, where's she putting them calls through to? Because she's literally answering. The, the, like one it? after another, after another, after yeah. another. Like the person on the other end of the phone, like they actually can't be saying a word. No, no. I am good. Well, it was for the camera. Well, Wrestling Federation. Oh, yeah. Hi. One moment, please. Oh. oh. <laughs> where, where, where am I? She doesn't even know where I wanted to go. Yeah. Well, Wrestling Federation. One mo- oh, yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, one moment, please. What? what? I just, I've got a delivery. I was, uh, <laughs> You know, there's, I've got... Uh, I've got a truck of baby oil for Vince. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've got some Ica, Ica Pro stuff being <laughs> delivered. <laughs> I, um, I like the idea of a... I like the idea of a presser for Mike, like, that Shawn Michaels is, like, mm. called a presser. I love it. Yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, I like that, too. And I like that so many people turned out for it as well. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that he's, like... Despite what my doctors have advised, I'm going to be in the Royal Rumble. <sighs> and everyone, everyone, everyone in the in the press coverage is losing their minds. Yeah, <sighs> absolutely losing their minds. His doctors on the front row, like, oh, yeah, disappointed because he's, doctor, he's gone against down. his advice. <laughs> Papers all over the place. Doctors yeah. like, fucking, what do I know? Doc, Just a d- doctors like your funeral, Sean. Yeah, whatever, Sean. Whatever, Sean. Do what you want, mate. Yeah, it's not like I'm not like I'm a medical professional or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I, lo- I just I just love the I love the idea because I think this is something that they did for a few years, didn't they? They would, uh, you know, like before WrestleMania as well. Yeah, yeah. They, like, they would do a press. They would do a press conference, almost like a like a boxing press conference, mm. like to announce the match. Yeah. And there would be like verbals and then the face off and then the photo, um, yeah. you know, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of it. Yeah, I dig it. Um, you know, I think they could downsize the logo. Yeah. You've also got WWF logo in the corner as well. Look. Yeah. Also, they could have ironed the Royal Rumble <laughs> thing in the background. The background, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, the, I mean, the presentation really is rushed. Mm. I mean, maybe the you know the press conference was sort of rushed. It was sort of like, um, I'm going to do a press conference today at uh, 11 o'clock, and it's like 10.45 mm. already. And they're like, shit, yeah. that's like 15 minutes. Get the ring apron from the Royal Rumble out. Get it hung up. <laughs> but it's creased the fuck. Don't worry about that. Just get Don't it Don't worry up. about that. The, the creases will drop out. The creases will drop out. It's fine. Get, get that massive WWF logo um, that we've got. Um, in 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 the warehouse over there, get it over and just blue tack it to the to the just, just stick it on the podium. Yeah, got any sellotape? No. Yeah. Okay. Prit pads? You got some prit pads? <laughs> right. Okay. Prit pads will do, <laughs> but it's really difficult to come off, and it'll leave like a a little prit pad thing. Uh, we'll just keep it on there forever. It's fine. Yeah, We're never going to change the name of the company or the logo or any of that shit. So no, we'll just no. keep it on there forever. Yeah. Keep it. So yeah, Shawn Michaels. That that's to be honest is probably exactly how it played out. Ten forty five. Shawn Michaels says, "I'm going to do a press conference in ten minutes, uh, in fifteen minutes." Um, yeah, I need all this stuff, and yeah. then everyone's panicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So yeah, Shawn Michaels is going to be in the Royal Rumble. Good, good. Yeah, against his doctor's advice, and I don't condone that. But hey, look, it is what it is. It's his career. It is his career. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So I hope it's a healthy one. I hope it's a healthy one. I, you know, I'd love to see him win the Royal Rumble. Can't see it, but I'd love to see it. No. Uh, what followed this was um, some great backstage <sighs> clips. People just sitting around backstage. Like Diesel's mm. like sitting on the stairs. He's got his leg up. He's like, yeah, you know what, buddy? I, I want to win my WWF Championship back as well. So I'm probably just going to kick your face off. And then like Owen Hart <laughs> does, says something very similar and someone else. Yeah. Basically, yeah, they gonna, they were uh, they were good. They were, they're all they were gonna, good. They were. They're all going to murder him in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, they're going to kill him. Absolutely kill him. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that's that. Sean Marks is going to be in the Royal Rumble. Awesome. Yeah. Um. Next up is the in your house segment, and it's lengthy. Well, before that, oh, in okay. between that, we had Scheme Gene was back. Oh, okay. And his big secret was that. And I'll do the hand up. Vader was going to be in the Rumble, which we already knew. We Silly already knew. Gene. Yeah, the, plus, they'd already done it earlier on as well. Yeah, he did the Vader <laughs> yeah, thing. He did the thing. <sighs> Silly scheme, Gene. Stupid scheme, Gene. Yeah. And then, then, and we, then, the then we get the In Your House segment. So, yeah, it was pretty lengthy. Mm, it was. It basically it was. took us all the way to the end of Raw. Mm, yeah. It's actually quite amazing to me that they fit all of this into about 46 minutes. Yeah, it's mad. It is mad. Yeah, it really is mad. But, um, yeah, it, it was brutal. Brutal match, yeah. A, a lot of a lot of false finishes, a lot of kicking out at two. Mm. You know, I mean, these um, two got great chemistry anyway. You know, oh, they had yeah, the, the great match at SummerSlam 92 for the IC title. Um, yeah. Stakes a little yeah. bit higher here for the World Championship, but, you know, mm. it's all good. Yeah, camera kept cutting to uh, to uh, I forget her name, Bret Hart's sister. Yeah, and Bulldog, uh, who of course Bulldog, was Bulldog's Bulldog, wife. Bulldog's, Bulldog's wife, yeah. Yeah, it kept cutting to that. It was it was very. Um, I think they did, they did they did the same at SummerSlam '92. I'm sure of it, where they I just kept remember. cutting to her in the crowd, and she she couldn't really decide who she wanted to win because you know yeah. Bret Hart's her brother, um, and but obviously her husband is the British Bulldog, so you know yeah, you've got to keep. It, at one point, she's at one point she's she's like, oh come on, Davy, like this, and then Bret Hart's just covered in claret. It's just yeah. there's, there's blood everywhere, yeah. and then she's like, oh no, my brother. It's like make make your mind up, love. Come on, yeah, come on, love. Look, you can't yeah. you can have it. You can't have it both ways. Okay, someone's got to win. Yeah, yeah, someone's got to win. So pick a Someone winner and deal with it. All right. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's it's. Um, I mean, I'd put here in my notes. Great back and forth, great chemistry. Yeah, you know they could tell you know sort of that they know each other so well. Yeah, and it just and it comes across in in the match as well. Again, I noticed how stiff the mat was. You know, like yeah, some of those so, you know some of those like backdrops and stuff like that when they landed. You're like, oh, yeah, they are just landing. There's no oh, sort of, there's God. no give there at all. No, no give, no give, no give at all. Um, you know, both both guys do a pile driver, which you now watch and think, "Oh my god!" You like you almost kind of turn away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of um, 
A lot of kicking out. <laughs> a hell of a lot a of lot kicking, of kicking out. out. It was a very long match. Don't get me wrong, mm. it was good. Um, and it, it was probably you know, 20 it wasn't, minutes, wasn't it? Easily, yeah. Easily 20 minutes. And, it, yeah. you know, it was the kind of match that wasn't really in, in keeping with what the WWF is actually doing at this point. No, no. It felt, it felt like it... It felt very modern. When it I did feel it. modern. Ma- it felt, felt match, very modern. Match, yeah, felt, felt felt very modern. Um, but I mean, Bret Hart was way ahead of his time anyway. I think I think yeah. to a degree the Bulldog was as well. Yeah, yeah it yes. always was. Like even when he was sort of in uh, tag team with uh, with uh, Tom with Dynamite Kid, you know, they, they yes. were sort of very advanced for yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, but yeah, Bret Bret's just covered in blood. Yeah, the end of it. Uh, and he wins with uh, Mahestra Cradle, which I thought was very mm. bizarre. Yeah, I, I thought that was bizarre as well, considering that some of the moves that he'd kicked out of, and some of the moves that Bulldog had kicked out of, to then win with that was yeah, very strange. I mean, maybe it was a, a pinning combination that wasn't very, you know, wasn't seen very often then. No, no. And that's why it was so, you know, a unique pinning combination. Today, it's just a Lamar yeah. style cradle. But I, I think what I um, what I liked, uh, what I liked a lot about this match was you had Bulldog that was showing his strength. So he yeah. was kind of like he was really, uh, you know, he was dominating it when it comes to like headlocks and you know Coronado tiles and all of that sort of thing and being able to do big suplexes and stuff. It's been on and the way. He, 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 and probably a few other things as well. <laughs> <clears throat> like a like a like, rowing machine, obviously. And yeah, a bike, yeah, an exercise row, bike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, well, we'll come on to that because that's mentioned in a bit, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which I could not believe. And I couldn't was, believe uh, either. I was I, like, oh my God. I was anyway. in absolute disbelief. But yeah, come <laughs> on. Anyway, and then, you know, it told the story that, okay, well, Brett had to then change it up and be a bit more technical and stuff like that. And you had, you had fucking corn on the outside, didn't you? Yeah. Um, with, with that Santa thing. What the fuck was that about? I, I know. Oh, it was Christmas time though. When that match was on. 8th of Jan. Uh, well, it was from in your house, wasn't it? So, oh, uh, of course. And in so your house was be, in December. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It makes sense now. Okay. I'll let him off. Um, so yeah, so it, I yeah, it was a great it was a great match and, and a, a huge huge upgrade on what we saw the previous week with the Raw Bowl and with um, Diesel beating um, Mabel Mabel in four seconds and yeah yeah huge huge uh, two two greats there on show oh two all time greats one hundred percent yeah um, I mean this was it's definitely a more a cohesive episode of Raw, yeah, yeah. for the matches yeah. that are coming up at the Raw Rumble. I mean, yeah. Raw Ball was so unbelievably unnecessary, but so shy. So, right, so it was, shy. It was shit. It was yeah. It was so, so yeah. Bret Hart wins with a uh, a cradle, retains the WWF Championship, and is still mm. the champion, and goes on to the Raw Rumble as champion. Yeah, I love uh, how back then the you know when the. the that whoever was champion at Royal Rumble was still the champion at Mania. Basically, yeah. There was no, yeah, no there was, there was, there was uh, fast lane or any of that. Yeah, there was no sort of, uh, I'll challenge you. If, if you don't win, I'll, I'll be main event in Mania. Yeah. None of that nonsense. Yeah, it's like it's like at the minute where they're at, where obviously they were advertising Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns as the, the biggest WrestleMania main event of all time. But Brock is defending the championship at Madison Square Garden. So he might lose it. And this biggest match of all time might not happen. Get the fuck out of here. We know that's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Bret Hart is going to defend against The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble. And he had a little Mm -hmm. backstage segment, Phantom of the Opera Mask and all that, with Paul Bearer. And he says he's going to win because it's now out of his hands. And it's because of the the creatures of the night. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that settles that. Um, because of the creatures of the night, Undertaker's going to become the new WWF champion. 100% guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed. 100%. Um, mm. So that was that. 
it was cool to see the Undertaker, but he's going to be in action next week against uh, a once in a lifetime match, like we said earlier on. Not to be missed, Undertaker versus Isaac Yankum DDS will never ever be seen again on TV ever. No, no, in any no. way, shape, or form. And uh, no, no, not at all. And speaking of the Undertaker, congratulations to <laughs> <laughs> to Kathy Shrek from yeah, Chicago, Kathy Illinois. Shrek. 24 years old. Her favorite superstar is the Royal Rumble. And she's taking three generations of her family <laughs> to... <laughs> she's, she's won a trip. She's won the Royal Rumble sweepstake and she's going to be taking her family to <laughs> the Royal Rumble. Uh, yeah, her favorite um, her favorite wrestler is The Undertaker. Here is uh, a picture of Kathy Shrek celebrating her, her win. <laughs> It's full screen as well. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (sighs) I'm just (laughs) I'll send you the picture. It's it's it just looks hilarious on my laptop. You got your phone with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most no context games and grouts picture of all time. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations, Kathy Shrek. I hope you enjoy the Raw Rumble. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it. That's a decent sweepstake to win. I mean, I don't even win the Grand National sweepstake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. War room time. Oh yeah. So basically, this week they're trying to they're trying to come up with a new slogan for for uh, billionaire Ted's rest, wrestling company. Yeah. There's his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> they go they go through all sorts of different stuff where the good old boys play and all this other stuff, and then finally. Yeah. Uh, what about they go? What about uh, uncut, uncensored? Oh no, we can't steal that one. Like we've stole the other stuff. It's like, oh, my God. yeah, God. I mean, it's so tit for tat. You'll notice this when you watch Nitro. I mean, Nitro they make digs like, oh, it's not this. I mean, that's why this podcast is called the other channel because they're always like, um, oh yeah, yeah, you'll see what goes on on the other channel. It's like oh, for fuck's sake, mm-hmm. WCW where the big boys play, and then so yeah, Nacho Man. <laughs> says, uh, what about where the big boys play? Um, and then it's, there's something that was truly unfucking believable when it was said. Uh, <laughs> they literally... <laughs> um, it's unreal. It's so unbelievable. It's like they... So they literally use... They basically pointing out the fact that wrestlers in WCW are using steroids. Yeah. And then making out that wrestlers in the WWF are, are not. Yes. So they talk about so yeah, so so Nacho Man says, let's just lie and say this is where the big boys play. Yeah. And then say, yeah, but we know that's not true. Um but then they'd go on about random drug tests and and using steroids. It's like I could. I was in shock. I yeah. was. I was actually in shock when it was said. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like you've got to be taking the piss with this, right? Like you. <laughs> that's fucking nuts thing to say. Yeah. But crazy. I mean, absolutely just... crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I was in complete shock. I was not expecting it at all. No. no I mean, no. I laughed. We'll probably get I... more of that as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> no, really looking forward to it. Um, then it fades fades away. WWF, the new generation. There's nothing old or artificial here. Oh my god! <sighs> There's nothing old or artificial here. But next week we've got an, we've got a, a, an Undertaker having a match against a fucking dentist. Yeah, which you will never see again. FYI, never see again. No. Never see again. No, never. Um, so yeah. yeah, that was that was this episode of Raw, and it was better. It was, I mean, it, yeah, it's never yeah, it be. was, it was, 
it was never going to be on par or worse than Raw Bowl. Oh. But this was all right. Um, you know, there's some the, the Raw Rumble looks decent. It does, it does, yeah. And there's some, there's some, you know, really, there's some big names in there in the in the actual Rumble itself. Well, yeah, some really, we, we, we you know, we we covered this earlier on today because Ooh. you know, Doug, Doug Gilbert, Gilbert is going to be yeah. in the Raw Rumble. I mean, Vader's going to be in it, but forget about him. Right. Yeah, don't worry about Vader. And don't he's worry awesome. About Vader. Uh, worry about Doug Gilbert because that's where it's at. All right. Exactly. Yeah, that is that is <laughs> Doug Gilbert. So yeah, um, but it was a decent episode actually. I'm looking forward to the to watching Raw Rumble '96. Uh, we've got Bret Hart versus Undertaker uh, for the WWF Championship. Gold Dust versus Razor Ramon for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, Ahmed Johnson versus Jeff Jarrett in a who watches each other's matches more match. Mm. Mm. Um, I think they're wrestling. I, don't know whether, I mean, that match might not happen because they'll just be watching each other. That's true. Maybe it's like um, who can watch TV the longest mm. without falling asleep. Yeah, like they're watching reruns of each other's matches. Mm. So Ahmed watches Jeff food. Jarrett's matches. Yep. Maybe Jeff Jarrett's watching uh, the stuff that Ahmed Johnson's taped off ITV. So he's got Brush Strokes and he's got Boone and Minder. And he's got to watch like series upon series of that. And then in turn, Ahmed Johnson's got to watch Jeff Jarrett matches. Mm. And London's burning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, it could be a telly book on a pole match. Take <laughs> telly book, yeah. Yeah, don't tell my mum she'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right. We will be back next week with... Uh, next week will be Nitrous Radio. Mm-hmm. And then we'll be alternating between the two. So next yes. week, Nitrous Radio, week after the other channel, so on, so forth, with pay-per-views in between. Yeah. Yeah. So good times. Good times. Yeah, we look forward to it. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a this is a real journey that we're going on here, like a long, long, mm. long journey. But it's fun, you know. It's funny to watch and it's funny to talk about, and you get all the usual shit from us in between. Exactly. So you're getting a very sketchy rundown of the shows and our description of them. Having a, having a laugh whilst doing it as well. Yeah, I don't, that's what it's all about. Our pod episodes, these episodes are longer than the actual episodes that we're watching. Well, I was just thinking exactly the same. I was looking. We've just ticked over an hour. Yeah. And uh, they're 45 minutes. With I mean, the advert, the ad breaks are, are cut out. So, um, yeah. yeah. I'm not looking forward to, you know, when it goes to two hours, I'm going to be fuming. Yeah, I am as well. Yeah, like, oh. the, the, you'll find the podcast way down there. It'd be like forty-five minute episodes because skimming over the shit. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. They came out and did a terrible promo. Move on. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because here I am going to be getting screen grabs of two hours worth of raw. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, oh, we'll yeah. just enjoy it. While uh, I mean, Nitro is less than an hour. Raw's less than an hour. Let's just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Just enjoy it while while we can. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been the other channel, a games and graps podcast brought to you by Powered Four TV. My name is Sonny G, and I've been here with Steve. Good evening. Uh, check us out on all social medias at Games and Graps, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, uh, youtube.com forward slash games graps, and twitch.tv forward slash games and graps. And the Games and Graps podcast is available on all podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. Catch you later, guys. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.